A livery cab driver fighting for his life tonight, shot in the head while working in Queens. Tonight, the shooter is still on the run. CBS 2's Brian Cotty Bear working this story in Elmhurst right now. Brian. Maurice, the victim's mother and sister, flew up here to New York from Miami today. They are here at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens at his bedside, hoping and praying for the best, while police continue to search for whoever fired the stray bullet. 37 year old Roberto Castillo is struggling to survive after emergency surgery to remove a bullet from his brain at Elmhurst Hospital in Queens. Investigators say the livery cab driver was just picking up four men at Club Perlu, a strip club on 34th Street in Astoria, at about 4 30 a.m. Friday when someone opened fire. But he was not the intended target. Neighbor Randolph Gunzer shot this cell phone video from his window across the street. The fire department was apparently trying to clear the crowded club out after a fight inside, possibly involving the victim's four passengers. They came out, and I think that's actually when the shooting happened. They were going around the corner over here to people that were leaving, and that's kind of when it really got serious. Critically injured and bleeding from the head, Castillo tried to drive away, but slammed his black SUV into a utility pole three blocks away. Doctors have removed the bullet from from his skull, uh, but he's, uh, we're hoping that he's going to pull through, but uh, we don't know at this point. Fernando Mateo represents livery cab drivers across the city. Castillo was not a licensed cabbie, and his SUV wasn't registered with the Taxi and Limousine Commission. If it would have been a licensed TLC driver, he would have been in the same condition that he's in. Neighbors say Club Perlu is a magnet for late night violence. I know of three shootings that have happened in here and at least two stabbings inside. And there are always fights. And this place, horns blowing, families trying to sleep. I did speak to a spokesman for the club tonight. He said the shooting happened two blocks away, not right outside that nightclub. Meanwhile, police are looking at surveillance video and interviewing witnesses, but still no sign of the gunman tonight. Reporting live from Elmer's Hospital in Queens, Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News. All right, Ryan, thank you.